Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Show him who's boss. Oh, we're all in this together! Griswold gang, welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. Thank you guys for being here. I'm happy to bring you guys this video today. Guys, if you are new to the channel, new to the strat, new to trading or struggling in your trading, this channel will change your trading trajectory and the way you guys trade. The first thing you need to do is go down below, click that subscribe button, and then hit that bell. That bell is the important part. That gives you the notifications for when I send these videos out every single day. Okay, this is our watch list video for Thursday, July 7th. I send these videos out for you guys every single trading day, okay? And a whole bunch on the weekend. I send out these videos. I send out top five watch lists. I send out swing plays, monthly swing plays, um, sorry, weekly swing plays, quarterly swing plays. I have over 200 videos for you guys to learn how to trade in the market profitably, consist and consistently. Okay, so there's tons of playlists for be from beginner playlists to trade reviews and how we how we managed our trades when we entered them and exited them, uh, how to trade the different setups, what the candlestick numbers mean, how to draw broadening formations, learning tools upon learning tools galore for you guys to learn and they're all for free. Okay, so you can go follow me on Twitter as well at Mr. Clark Griswold. And if you guys have questions, you can ask me there in the DMs. If you're shy about it or you feel nervous or you think it's a silly question, ask them in the DMs. I don't think anything's silly. You guys are learning, you're asking, and that's how you learn is by asking questions and that's it, okay? Um, what else was I gonna say? You can also send your comments or questions down below. I usually get back to you guys within the same day, okay? So I thank you for all the comments that come in and the questions that come in, I appreciate it. And just two other things before we get started on this list. Number one, this platform that we use on the YouTube videos that shows us these charts is called TradingView. If you guys don't have it or have never used it before, there's a link in the description below. That link will give you a free 30-day trial to TradingView, okay? And then if you decide to purchase a subscription, you get up to $30 off, okay? So go down that description and click the link and it is for new TradingView users only, okay? And the last thing, guys, I know it sucks. I know they're annoying. Those ads that the advertisers put on these, I'm asking you to watch them or just let them roll through, okay? And the reason I ask that is because the advertisers pay for this content to be free for you guys, okay? That's the purpose of those ads. It keeps your money in your pockets in the stock market, and I don't have to charge you guys for this stuff, okay? I can do these videos for you guys for free. You guys can learn for free. And that's how you do it. I don't just go up, grab a drink, grab a snack while they come on, let them roll through and uh, keep your money in your pockets. Okay, let's get started on this list because there's a crap ton of plays to go through. I will be putting out a top five list to narrow everything down. So stay tuned for that if it's not already out. Okay, I'm going to start off with Boeing, ticker symbol BA. So Boeing had a two up that finished red. Okay, so... This was one of our plays on our chart, and a lot of these plays today, guys, did this. And I, I had a few people say I got knocked out of the market. I did too. It happened to me. You can go check out the review video that I did on AMD because the same thing happened to me. We went up, and mine actually hit a target and came back down, and I didn't get out. And I ended up losing on that trade. So sometimes that happens. Sometimes these things go up and reverse really quickly, and there's nothing you can do about it. But that's why we keep our stops where we keep our stops, okay? So Boeing today had a two up that finished red, okay? So that gives me probability that this thing is going to trend down. The problem is we have this week is green, the month is green, the quarterly is green, and only the day is red. And a lot of these plays are showing this, so I'm a little iffy on whether to jump in on these or not. So if this is the Wednesday play and this is the Tuesday play, And Monday was a holiday. So realistically, if this does trend down, the week will shift 
and then the month will shift at about this point here, okay? And the quarterly as well. So it's very possible that this could all be red as soon as we trigger, okay? In all directions. And then as you notice here on Tuesday, we also already triggered to the downside on the weekly. So Boeing will be an interesting play tomorrow. Okay, BBY is Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond had a... Bed Bath & Beyond tricked me. This was a inside bar earlier today. We're going to take Bed Bath & Beyond off. GS. So Goldman Sachs. Okay, inside bars. If you guys follow me for a long time, you already know about inside bars. Even if you follow me for a short time, you know about inside bars. If you guys are new, let's go through the inside bars real quick here because this, guys, this bar is what made me first successful when I when I first started really getting good at options it was because of these inside bars okay so the inside bars do not break the high or the low of the previous candle they stay within the range of this candle it's also called a one bar when we're talking about the strat okay so it stays within the range of this candle doesn't break the high does not break the lows what that is is consolidation within a stock it's a tightening range and when I think of inside bars I like to think of a spring Okay, and that spring getting compressed and coiled and ready to explode into one direction or the other. And probabilities tell us and history shows us is that's what happens with inside bars. We get these breaks to the downside or the upside and it leaves us with successful trades. This one didn't hit targets, but it would have been a great trade. Okay, here's another one. Inside bar with a really nice rundown to the broadening formation. Okay, inside bar here trended down okay actually this opened up below so and then trended back up this one here ran up okay we hit targets plus and the reason i go back and show you guys these is because they don't work all the time it's not a foolproof plan but probabilities tell us that the breaks of these inside bars are very successful okay so on goldman sachs gs inside bar we can take calls at 297.36 that would push the day and the week to green. Or we can take puts at 290.60. That would put everything into the red direction to a downturn, okay? Full time frame continuity to the downside, okay? And if we go check out the indicator tab, you can type in time frame continuity by Board Rider B. That'll give you that time frame. If you want these candlestick numbers, type in candle type, the strat author is Crinklebine. Okay, and pretty soon, guys, I, I've told you guys this in a couple of videos, I'm working on some stuff to build a Griswold Strat indicator, it will have this on there, okay? This indicator, it will have these numbers on there. It will have these colored inside bars. It will have the colored outside bars. It'll have the highlighted double inside bars, okay? I'm working on a whole bunch of stuff to make trading the easiest I can for you guys, okay? So stay tuned for that. It should be here sometime in July. Okay, we'll move on to Airbnb. Airbnb with a two up, barely, that finished red. We can take puts on this one at 91.85. And again, this week isn't turning green till, till we tag down in this range here. So this is a little tough one for us. Um, it's not one of my high conviction plays. ATVI Activision has a inside bar on it. The spread between the bid and the ask is usually not great on ATVI. But we'll see how this one plays out anyways. If they're tight, I like to see the spread on options between with the bid and the ask within pennies okay i don't like going more than five or ten percent out on those i will sometimes but it's not very often that that happens okay especially not on plays like this where we're looking for the breaks in the morning if we're looking at a sarah strat sniper 50 percent rule i will take a limit order on something like that because it's got some time to move but a lot of times in the morning these plays move really really fast and hit targets usually within the first you know hour 30 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, Sarah Strat Sniper had a Neo play on Tuesday. I think it was a one minute. She said she was in and out for one minute and then she was done. So these plays happen really, really fast. So inside bar on ATVI calls at 78.87, puts at 78.10. Let's move on to Chewy. Chewy again, two up red. We have this same scenario with this week being green and us not changing that week to red until we get way down here. Okay, so again, this is one of those plays that's I'm not saying I'm not saying it can't reverse to the downside here, 
but probabilities are not great, okay? CCL, Carnival Cruise Lines, two up, finished red. Okay, this one's a little bit more probable because our week turns to red at the bottom of this candle here, which is a Tuesday candle, and that's when the markets opened for the week was right here. Okay, so this week would turn to red right here. So once we trigger, come through here, we are red on the day and the week, and then that would also change us to the red on the month and the quarterly. So at that point, we would be all red to the downside on CCL. Okay, puts at 870 on that one if I didn't mention it already. Uh, Colgate Palmolive CL, two up, finished red with a shooter candle or an inverse hammer. So that's basically a hammer candle turned upside down. We have this big body here with this long wick to the top, inverse hammer or a shooter candle. Okay, and we already have the day and the week in our favor, so we can look for puts at 8095 and take our first targets. This is going to be yellow, so I'll switch it to green. First targets at 80.09. And at this candle here is where the month and quarterly would turn to red. At the bottom of this candle right here, this big green one. And that would put us into full time frame continuity to the downside. Okay, CMCSA is Comcast. Comcast has a two up, finish red. We're going to look for puts on Comcast at 39.61. And again, this is one of those ones where our target is a fair distance away or a magnitude is a fair distance away um, from here to here we won't shift this week won't shift to red until we hit here and the month and quarterly don't shift till we hit here okay so again not one of the greatest plays that we've got C CRM CRM has a two up that finished red as well and again this is one of those plays again where we can take puts at 70.83, but the week is not shifting to red till we're way down here, okay? And that's $4 away, so a little bit of a risky one on CRM if you're going to take it. D-Dog or Datadog, two up, finish red. Another one of those plays where we don't shift or flip the week to red till we get way down here, and then the month and quarterly don't flip until we're way down here, okay? So I'll guarantee you that won't be on my top five. Disney, Disney had a three, two up, finished red. So, sorry, this is the three and then the two up. And we're looking for a three, two, two reversal to the downside with puts at 95.40. And again, our target is down here where we've already gone two down on the week on Tuesday. This line here is where our week flips to red. It's also where the month and quarterly flip to red. So potentially... A little bit later, if we come down this far into this 9430 range, everything would be red on that one, okay? DraftKings, DKNG, two up, red. You can kind of call this an inverse hammer shooter candle. I'd like this body to be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. So puts at 1231, and again, we're not shifting this week to red until we get down here, but the monthly and the quarterly shift at this point right here. Okay. So before we hit targets, but it's got a ways to go before we have full time frame to the downside. DocuSign, the same thing. Okay. Two up, finish red. We're not flipping the week till we're way down here. We can take puts at 63.34 though. ETSY is Etsy. Exactly the same thing. Okay. And I said there was going to be a lot of these. Etsy, two up, finish red. Puts at 85.21, but our flip on the week is way down here, okay? So not a high, a highly confident play on that, okay? We'd like to see, realistically, on the day trades, I like to see this day and this week red when we're, when we're triggering, okay? That's what I like to see. And if the month and the quarterly are red, those are both bonuses. Same with the yearly, okay? The more we have in our favor, the higher probability that trade is to work out. This one gets a little bit more probable, I guess you could say, with a two-up finishing red on EW, and we can take puts at 96.58. First target here, the week flips right here. The month and the quarter leaf won't flip until the target is hit, okay? 
Ford Motor Company, this is one of the ones I'm sure screwed people this morning because Ford barely trended up, did not hit targets, and then it reversed. So again, this is very similar to AMD, except that AMD hit targets, but you guys got to make sure your stop losses are in place. If you have stop losses in place, the trade doesn't, you losing on the trade and it not working out doesn't matter because if you're only losing 5 to 10% on this trade or less, then that you can count that as a win because your trades that you're taking are 10% plus, okay? 20%, 30%, 40%. The trades that I take and the trades that I show you guys anyways are giving you that kind of return. So if you can prevent or keep your stops and your losses at 5 to 10% losses, you're going to be golden and you become a really successful and really consistent trader, okay? So Ford Motor Company, because of this, has a two down that's red. Guys, if we trigger on, on the daily here, this week will also flip to red. We will have full time frame continuity to the downside. So I would look at Ford as a possible, uh, highly probable play. Okay, Fubo. Fubo, same thing, two up red. Kind of a hammer candle. Again, I'd like to see that body a little bit smaller to call it a hammer. But we can take puts at $2.52. And again, we don't flip on the week till we're way down here. So not a high probability trade on Fubo. GE. GE had a two up. When I set this up before the market closed, this was red. We're going to go with this though, okay? Same thing that I did with uh, Pfizer yesterday. The color does not matter, okay? We can look for a 2-2 reversal to the downside, whether this is red or green. And just like Pfizer was a two down that was red and we still went up and I played that trade and I made 24% on it. So this one with GE is a two up that finished green. If we trigger to the downside with this two, two reversal, everything will be red to the downside uh, on our time frame, And we can look for it to hit targets at 59.93 on the puts at a $60 and 76 cent trigger. Okay. G, and if you don't understand that we're far into this video, but if you don't understand what I'm talking about with the triggers and stuff, again, go to my learning tool videos, my beginner tools playlist, okay? I have the entries and exits and what everything means and how to use it, okay? IBM, we've gone through these inside bars before. So again, inside bars, springs, coiling, explosions. That's what we're looking for. So calls at 139.16, puts at 137.13, we can look at the last inside bar we had on IBM. We triggered and we hit targets, okay? So it did what we were told. The candles, we, the candlesticks did what they were told us they were going to do. They triggered off of the inside bar, they hit targets, and that was it, okay? Did exactly what they were supposed to do. IWM has a two up, finish red. We can look for puts at 169.75. Same conditions though, we don't flip on the week till we're down here. Keurig Dr. Pepper has a two up finished red. So again, we have the day and the week with us to the downside. So we can look for puts at 3587 first targets at the bottom of the preceding wick. Coca-Cola, KO is the ticker symbol, has an inside bar. Again, we know all about inside bars now. Whether you're new or old, you know about them now. We can take calls at 6409, puts at 63, where are we, 6319. Time frame continuity on the day and the week is to the downside. But guys, if we trigger, that week is going to be green. That green, the week flips to green right here. So this can, one can really go either way on Coke. Okay, LYFT lift, three one setups. Okay, outside bar followed by an inside bar. Okay, this is a rare pattern. I have a video specifically on the three one setups, but we have an outside bar or a three bar followed by an inside bar. Okay, so calls at 1393, puts at 1313. Let's go back in time and see if we can find the last time we had a three one setup. They don't happen very often. There's one right here. I've got them highlighted with the yellow. This yellow highlight will also be on the new indicator that I've got. So you guys can easily find these three one setups when you're flipping through and looking for potential plays. Okay. 
and they don't always work. That's why we go through them and look to see if they actually did. Okay, it's back testing. Three, one, and we trended to the downside. Hit one, two, two targets plus, okay? So this was a really good 3-1 play off a lift the last time we had it. Uh, looks like back in May. Okay, so that's lift with the 3-1 setup. I can almost guarantee you that that will be on my top five watch list. Okay, MGM. MGM had a two up that finished red. Let's look for puts on MGM at 29.34. But again, we run into that same problem with the week not flipping to red till we get way down here, okay? MS is Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley, two up red. This one's a little different. We trigger on the daily here to the downside, and this week also flips. We are all red to the downside on Morgan Stanley, so we can look for puts that are highly probable at 74.69 on Morgan Stanley, but we do not buy these until we trigger. We're not front-running these things, guys, because sometimes they don't trigger and they go the opposite way, and you're going to screw yourself. What do I got for time? We're good. Okay, so the next one here, we've got a two up that finished red on Netflix. Again, this is not a trade that I'd probably be looking at just because this week, month, and quarterly are all green and we have a long way to go to flip them. And we don't go chasing trades. We wait for the trades to come to us. We wait for those setups to be what they are. We wait for our rules to come into effect before we purchase whatever we're buying, common shares, options. We wait, okay? There's no rushing in this stuff. It Let it come to you. We're not front running. We're not going searching for trades, okay? Let them come to you. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> um, that was a dad joke. Uh, so two up red on Nike. And again, this is a long way down before we flip that weekly to red. And I don't really want to see us take trades on this um, unless we have that red. And, and there's nothing saying, guys, that these trades aren't going to be super successful and we hit first and second and third targets off of this. But the way it sits now, probabilities tell us that it's not a high probability trade. Okay? Oracle is the same thing. Two up red. Our weekly doesn't flip till right here. Okay? But puts at 71.31. Pins is exactly the same thing as Oracle. The flip is way down at the bottom here, but puts you can look at at $19.44. Palantir, PLTR, same thing. I'm not even going to go through this one. We'll skip through it. PayPal, same thing. We're not flipping till way down here, but puts at $72.63. Roblox, I know this is a good one. It's got a 3-1 setup again, okay? Outside bar, inside bar. Calls at 40 bucks, even puts at 37.41. We trend up. Our first target is the top of the wick. Okay, and this will flip to green. We'll have four indicators, four charts showing green. Okay, if we go to the upside. And the last time we had a 3 1 setup on Roblox right here. And that looks like we are in February. How do you guys say it? February? February. Okay, 3 1 outside bar, inside bar, and away we go. Up we go. Okay, we came back down and then all the way back up, but it broke to the high side. Okay, I don't know if we'll be able to find another one here on Roblox. I'll just quickly, and there's one way back here in May of 2021. And what does it show us? Looks like it was very successful, but I can't tell for sure. So outside bar, inside bar, yeah, it was great. This outside bar was outside, inside bar was great. Three, one, two down. And we hit one target, two targets, three targets, and more. And then it just kept going for the next one, two, three days, okay? So beautiful play on Roblox off of that 3-1 setup. And that's what I mean. They're, they're rare and they're powerful and they do what they're supposed to do for the most part. Okay? So that is our setup for Roblox. I will tell you this one will be on our top five faux show. Okay, Roku. 
Roku has a two up that finished red. Same as all the other ones. We got a long way to go to flip that week, but puts at 8708. Starbucks two up red. Targets here at what are we looking at? 7736. And again, our flip doesn't our flip is a lot closer if we trigger and we'll have that day in that week green, okay? But if we open up and trend up, then we have full time frame outside of the year is pointing up for Starbucks with a 2-2 continuation. SEC Limited, another outside inside bar. So you guys know how to play these already. Calls at 75.79, puts at 71.67. I would hope that this thing would trend to the upside based on the rest of the time frame. And if we go back real quick, we'll see if we can find something with a 3-1 setup on SE from the past. There's a double inside bar. That's what that navy blue is. And right here, we have to go all the way back to June. Over a year ago was the last time we had a 3-1 setup on SE. Okay, so let's go see how SE traded when it was <laughs> whoo, way up at 225 bucks a share. And it looks good. These three ones look good. Okay, 3-1 setup, outside bar, inside bar, boom, to the upside for one, two, three days. And I'm not expecting you to hold these for three days, but a really, really good gain. And then this one, and it's the reason I show you guys, this one was not as successful, okay? And they don't always work, but it did its job. So we had an outside bar, inside bar, we triggered and hit targets. And the target was not great, okay? This was a very, very slim margin from here, the high of 261.50. So only about 26 cents, 16 cents to go from here to here. So it wasn't a great trade, um, but it did what it was supposed to do. It triggered and hit targets, okay? And that's all we can ask. The candlesticks are telling us what to do, and if they do what they do, if they do what they're supposed to do, then we're looking at a... Uh, highly profitable or highly probable trade. Uh, maybe not necessarily always profitable, but they're doing exactly what they said they were going to do. And that's the easiest way for you guys to trade is what we're showing here, okay? It's simple, simple stuff. Okay, space is up next. I know this video is running long. I have 10 minutes left, I think, maybe. We'll see. Okay, two down, finish red. And again, our flip happens a fair ways down on space. Next up is Square. Square has a two up red, same thing, same scenario that we've been looking at. So again, that's not really one that I will be looking at. This is even worse, Teladoc Health. I'm just gonna skip right over this one, especially because we've trended up on the month already. We've triggered the monthly. So we're gonna skip out on TTD. We can, or sorry, on Teladoc, we can skip out on TTD as well. The only problem here is we've trended to this downside already. We've, we've crossed the trigger on the monthly so if we go check out the monthly, it's possible that we have a, that's not possible, not yet anyways. This could be a 50% play, but we have to sit way up here on the monthly before this becomes a Sarah Strat Sniper 50% play, okay? So you can look at the trade desk uh, for one reason only, and that's because it's, it's triggered the monthly to the downside already. So we can look for puts on this one at 42.86, okay? But not a high probability trade. Uber, Uber has an inside bar with this doji, okay? Full time frame to the upside currently. We can look for calls at 2208, puts at 2132. The magnitude on these are great, okay? We have great pivot points, great targets. There's a lot of space in between here to make a lot of money, okay? And you can call them uh, pivot points, you can call them targets, you can call them magnitude. You can say this is where the bulls have their, their bears have their stop losses. You can say this is where the bears have their stop losses, it doesn't matter. They all mean the same thing, but Uber looks like a really good play for tomorrow as well. Upstart, um, did I skip Twitter? I feel like I skipped Twitter. I know Twitter had an inside bar, it did. I think I skipped Twitter. So Twitter with the doji as well, and Uber also with the doji. So again, Twitter also looks really good. We've got good magnitude there, we've got great magnitude to the bottom, but our time frame currently is showing green, 
But if we do trigger to the downside, guys, this day and this week, because this is our flip for the week right here, uh, the day and the week will be red, okay? Otherwise, if we trend up, we've got really great time, time frame continuity to the upside on Twitter. Upstart, UPST, two down, red. Uh, again, we'll, we'll skip over this one just because of this time frame continuity. Uh, Wells Fargo, another inside bar. You can see this inside bar on Wells Fargo was really, really great. Okay, had a nice push up and through targets. We can look for calls at 4003, puts at 3892. And again, if we trigger to the upside, we have four, four spots here that are green. If we trigger to the downside, because this is our flip for the week, this is our flip for the quarterly and monthly, it's very well possible that the day and the week will be red and the month and the quarterly would flip right here at 38. 73 that's on wells fargo just a couple more here guys xel another 3-1 setup there was one right here i don't even have to go back very far 3-1 and this thing ran for days okay uh and if you want to leave a runner on and you don't close till friday well you got really good opportunity there at least you did on this one okay 3-1 again on xl uh calls at 71.66 puts at 69.56 you know how to read that time frame continuity so I don't need to go through that with you guys anymore. And then you guys know where your targets are at the tops and the bottoms of that outside bar. Okay, XLU has an inside bar. Last inside bar was right here and we trended down for two days. Calls at 7076, puts at 6916, 6919. That's the one I'd like to see to push this thing all to the downside on uh, XLU, sorry few more here Citigroup I think has a two up that finished red so we'll look for puts at 45 46 I'm going to move this target down here because by the time we trigger here everything's going to be red full across the board that's full time frame continuity if we trigger to the downside arc w I'm going to skip right through uh xpev xpeng inc has a double inside bar we do not see these very often so two straight days of consolidation and a tightening range. We're getting ready to break out of this thing. We can look for calls at 3193, puts at 3015. You can see where the time frame is. Let's trend back here to see when the last time we had a double inside bar on XPEV. There was a couple of them here. And let's see how they perform. It looks pretty good from what I can see. So this one triggered and hit targets, and that was about it. So this was not the greatest of plays here. We, the target was not great, but we hit it, and then we reversed back up. Okay, and there was one more here. This double inside bar, and we came hammering down, hitting one, two, and missing that third target. But this was a really, really good play there on that double inside bar on XPEV. And this is the last one, guys, B-A-B-A, -B -A. it's Alibaba. Alibaba's got a 3-1 setup. The last time we had one was right here, and we trended down for two days. So again, you know how this stuff works. We've got time frame to the upside, right across the board, outside of the year. We can take calls at 120, puts at 115.51. Guys, that's a list. Make sure you're watching for the top five. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe down below. Don't forget about the link for TradingView if you are new. And stay tuned for the top five as well as the new indicators and other stuff the Griswold gang is putting out for you guys, okay? So thank you very much, guys. Good luck trading on Thursday, and we will for sure see you on the next one. Bye-bye.